Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about the banner system, the default banner system that BD has, so you can control and set where the banners show, what type of banners show there, etc, etc, etc. If you're into banners, then you know that this is a very simple approach. Um, what I'm going to do on this video is basically guide you on how to set it up and so you have a better understanding where things go and how do they show okay so to speed up the, the video what i did was i already added some images so here on the, for the cyber banner ad i added an image called cyber banner ad which is just a picture of this same for the header same for the below header footer and some of the extra ones okay so except for the last ones that's basically empty it looks like this when it's empty but these ones actually have the, uh, an image there, okay? So to get started, you go to settings, design settings, settings, design settings, and then banner ads. You make sure that you enable the banner ads. You also make sure that your browser is not blocking ads because obviously you're gonna have a big issue looking at the ads if, if you have an ad blocker. So I'm gonna save this here, okay? Right now, I believe all of them are disabled. Uh, let me see that one's also. This one shows just on the photo album kind of thing, okay? Uh, let me just double check so we can start nice and neat. That extra one is showing. Well, basically, after saving this, saying yes, I should not be seeing any here, okay? So we're good, nice, nothing in the header, nothing below the header. And nothing on the footer so let's start enabling each individual one okay so right now we're going to enable the sidebar so let's enable the sidebar which is basically this image sidebar banner ad which is some link there i'm going to save it and because it's a sidebar banner we would need to go to a place that has a sidebar so right now if i refresh this some of the streaming widgets might have a um a sidebar so that it might show there but just to get a quick glimpse of where it shows there you go you can see it here just imagine your image for the banner app if i click there it goes to google um and if you want to control that banner where it actually shows like at the top at the bottom what you do is the following we can see that the name of it it's for the widget that manages this cyber banner, it's called Bootstrap Theme Banner Responsive Size. So to manner anything that's a sidebar or sidebar related, we go to Toolbox Sidebar Manager. And because we're in the search results for members, we go to the member search result sidebar, duh. Okay, so we go there and here's that Bootstrap Theme Banner Responsive Size. Again, I'm gonna come here, you can see Bootstrap theme responsive size here, okay? And we come here to this site, and let's say that you actually want to put it at the top. We just drag it up there, save it, and we come here, we should be able to see the banner all the way here at the top. Okay, there you go. Wow, nice and neat, okay? Because for some reason you want it there. Let's enable the other ones, okay? So you can get used to uh, the other banners. Do mind that if a banner shows on the sidebar, then you need to go to the toolbox sidebar manager to control in which sidebar it shows and in which position in those sidebars it shows. Okay, so right now you're seeing this 7, 28, and 15. Uh, I'll show you in a second why that's there. So let's enable the header banner app. Okay, we're going to enable that one. And because it's the header one, it will show in the header up here somewhere. There you go, header banner ad. But it will show in all the pages, okay? For some of the individuals that wrote to me, hey, I enable the header banner and it's not showing. It's not showing because if you go to general uh, uh, settings, design settings, general, you see this header design here? you need to make sure that the header search module literally says display header banner ad because most of the time, all the cases that are checked, they either disable this or they put something else. So here's display header banner ad. If I say hide header search, which is most of the cases that I've seen, it will basically, you can see the, the header here at the top, it'll go away, see? 
if we enable that part again, well, I'm just helping you debug why something happens. Okay, so here's the header banner, the cyber header. Now let's enable the one that some get confused, which is below header banner, because it's not really clear what 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 it's actually doing. So that's just basically saying it's going to show below the whole header section. Okay, so it's going to show like here. So I'm just going to refresh it. And you see that it shows here. Do notice the following. You see this cyber banner ad. I always recommend square like banners. For sidebar, always square like, like a one to one ratio. For below header, it could be very long, like that 720 by 15 that we talked about. So it doesn't push anything down, but it actually consumes a proper horizontal space here. Same for the header banner. You, you, you don't want it to consume a lot of height. What you want it to consume a lot of width. I mean, not 100%, but you get my point. It's It should be more rectangular in the horizontal manner. So let's now do the footer. Just enable that one. Again, if you want to change the image, you go to replace image here, boom, you upload, you change the URL there because all of them have the URL there. This is a simple video just to teach you how the thing works. You got the header there, below header here, sidebar here, and the footer at the bottom, okay? Now, we want to start controlling, we want to target specific banners here's that extra banner one two three four five okay i only did the first three uh, for this video but it's the same idea let's say that we want to show this specific one on the search results okay so what you do is we enable this puppy and you see this banner 728 15 let's say that that's what this was for that's why i added it here so imagine by default it would look something like this and let's say that you want to add that over here. Just put it there. Let, you don't want to, let's just put it up here. Let's save that. And because this is member search results sidebar, which means that specific one is going to show here. See? Extra banner at one. You can see that there's no padding on it. It's not center, et cetera, et cetera. You can, you can customize it also. Customizations, you know, it's extra and all of that but it's very simple by the way it's at least telling you the widget which is which that um banner is in okay so you can see that it's a bootstrap theme banner 728.15 here's another one that's the bootstrap theme banner responsive size 2. so let's say that we want to enable that one it's already enabled and we're going to look for it i'm just going to copy this because i'm lazy there you go, and we're just going to put it at the bottom. We're going to put it at the bottom. There you go. Let's save that. Let's come here. And in theory, we're supposed to see a banner down here that's called extra banner add two, which you can see there. And you can keep on doing this, okay? Uh, for responsive size three, four, five, up to five. Um, and that's basically it. Now you know how to use the banner ads and customize at least five of them to specific places. Okay. Now let's say that, and we're going to go deeper here. Let's say that you don't want specific membership level to see banners. So let's just refresh this one. And in their profile, um, you don't want banners to show. And in their dashboard, you don't want banners to show. So here in this case, it's showing those two here is not showing anything but that's because of the settings that i put here so i went to finance membership plans and i edited the premium plan i called the premium i'm just going to type ads here okay so it's uh, i don't have to see so much let's enable this one here so basically i'm just going to put it a default so that show banner ads on profile which is this the public profile it's going to show all the banners Header banner ad, below header banner ad, the sidebar and the footer. Let's say that these premium members, you don't want them to be affected by the banners. So you can disable it there. And if you go to the membership uh, dashboard, you can also disable show banners ads on the dashboard. So we disable that one, save it. So now I've, if I'm in the uh, 
um, in my public, I mean, in my dashboard, my members dashboard as a premium member, I should not be able to see banners as you can see. And if I go to my public profile, I should also not be affected by banners. There you go. So that gives you uh, an insight, a very basic insight on how the banner system works on BD and how you can play around with it. Okay. Some banners are affected by specific uh, variables, like we show you here, where um, the the header banner won't show unless on the general settings you actually show it here. But also, for example, there's a specific one here for this one below header banner. If you go to the home page, let's go to the home page. You notice that we see header banner ad here, and then we immediately see the like the the presentation or the call to action or whatever you want to put there. We see the footer at the bottom, but we don't see the below header banner. That's what this option is here for. Display on home page, we enable it, we save it, and if I refresh this, now you're going to see the uh, the below header banner ad, okay, for those specific cases. Obviously, we're missing in that some of the plugins that we have. We have uh, plugins where you set in which pages it show, which members see it, which locations. Like if you're coming from from Texas, if you're coming from Canada, if you're coming, you see specific geocentrical or geo-related banners for you. Okay, even for a city, um, and you can rotate them, and you can do. Every, everything everything that you've seen on the Google Ads, we have a, a, a basically a plugin for that, okay? So, but here you're, without paying any customization, you can see what the basic one offers, okay? The plugin, it only applies if you actually want to generate income through it because people would pay for it and, and you can actually see stats for it. You can offer the stats to the member. Basically, it's Google Ads. It's Google Ads that got married with, I don't know, another publishing ad system and you have your own plugin on your own site to manage all that automatically. And it does anything that you're thinking about, it already does it. Um, but at least you get the idea, okay? You get the idea of what you're getting um, by default. Okay, so you get the cyber, the cyber concept here, uh, you get the whole banner uh, concept here and also for static pages which I, I forgot to mention here let's go to a static page here on a static pages you do have the option of disabling the banners here so let's say that we want to go to this specific static page and you don't want and it has a lot of con content inside of it and, you know pictures and stuff but you don't want the banners to actually show on this specific page so just you go to that specific static page you, you click on page options and hide banner at modules you save it let's go to that one we refresh and there you go okay on that specific page it doesn't show there's other more extended uh options of using this with with without customizations i leave that to your imagination there might be other options that are not showing here i just i wanted to make the video as short as possible because i might got my kids here and all that Big hugs, uh, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, how, however you want to take it. Think positive as always, and I really hope 2024 changes your life to for the better. Okay, big hugs to everybody and love you all. Bye.